Hey everyone, welcome to our live chat. I am Heather and we are here for you each and every day, Monday through Thursday. We are here um, starting at 8 a.m. Central Time and then on um, eight or Monday through Thursday, 8, 10, 12, 2, and 4, and then Friday or Thursdays. I'm like, I don't, I don't know what we work. <laughs> Monday through Thursday, 8, 10, 12, 2, and 4, and then Fridays at 8 and 10. So let me, um, let me put those up in case that just confused everybody. Uh, but I hope everybody is having a great day today because it is Thursday. I can't believe it. It is Thursday, Thursday. Okay, I can't right now, but I will in just a minute. And so we are going to get started. We're going to go over the basics. I need you to move in just a minute. Sorry, my coworker. All right. All right. Let's get started real quick. Hold on one second. Back here. All right. So here we go. Um, Oh, somebody's mad at me. All right, so we're going to get started. Um, we always like to go over the basics and what we, you know, what comes with the kit. Um, I'm pretty sure um, Renee had probably covered that. I didn't have a chance to look yet, but I'm pretty sure she covered that for the eight o'clock hour. And so um, I am going to cover that along with going over X out and eraser and the differences between those two, because some might have a question about those that we call those our airbrush essentials because they're important. Um, they're important because of the fact that you do have, I'm going to move this over a little bit. So I have to move my screen again. Um, they're important because it's good with, it, it's a good step in coverage. So if you need additional coverage, you know, something like that, then those are going to be great ones to get started on. Um, you see me use um, the CC concealer, the peach color corrector, all of those. And so this gives you another opportunity to see another, um, another product, right? So hello, Candy, Patty, Tamberly. Good morning, Deborah. Good morning. Good morning, Sissy. Um, she just said, my husband bought me a luminous air the black one, he bought it as a gift and recently passed and I have no warranty and I need more makeup. Can I tell, can you tell me what to, so Sissy, yes, just call our customer service, babe. Um, you can call customer service and uh, even if you go to the luminousbeauty.com, there's even a chat function, you can talk to them and you can give them your information. So you can give them like the, um, your phone number or his phone number at that time, um, or what his, his phone number is. Um, and they'll be able to help you and pull it up or even the address, they'll be able to pull that up. Um, and you can order more. So one thing I suggest is to get in on the VIP program because you're going to, you can, you can pick the range of when you want makeup sent to you, but you're going to get the better deal, um, a better price point for it and um and better on all the other makeup too as well but i am i'm so sorry for your loss um but i'm glad you found us and you can ask those questions um and if you have any problems just reach on you know you can come on back and let me know um but definitely reach out to customer service we have one of the best customer service um around and they'll be able to help you no problem um, all right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to show you the starter kit because we always like to go over the starter kit. Now, this is the icon and Sissy, this might be the one that you have. This is um, our regular icon. We also have the pro icon and then we also have the legend and they're all operated basically the same. The pro is just going to have two speeds there and then um, but what I'm telling you to do here is exactly what you're going to be doing. 
uh, with any of the systems. It does come with two makeup, um, two foundations. And we give you the two foundations so you can practice, so you can color match 365 days a year um, and not have to worry about changing colors throughout the year, but you're gonna match perfectly. We also give you a love and blush. And our blush is super high pigmented. It will intensify, it will, what we say, bloom. Um, and so definitely um, we'll go over how to use that as well. Now, when you're first getting started, this is what I want you to do, whoop, wrong hand. This is what I want you to do is get it out, plug it in, and just feel the air on your face. Feeling the air on your face is actually practicing because wherever you feel the air is where the makeup's going to go. And then you can practice moving the stylus around and keeping it four finger widths away. Once you get that down, you can put water in here and practice with water. Um, and then start pulling back on the trigger. You want to pull back very lightly on the trigger. Um, I can't stress that enough. Um, one thing I would recommend is spraying the makeup on a paper towel um, or a piece of paper, and that way you can see what happens, uh, see if you get any hot spots, see if you get any lines, if you're too close, if it's too wet, that kind of thing. So doing it with the, the water and on a paper towel are great ways to practice. All right, let's see. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, Sissy, that's the one you have. Perfect. Good morning, Amber. Yes, Sissy, you are actually using drops at a time. So the fact that you, you're like, yes, the blush lasts a long time shows me that you're doing it correctly because across the board, you're going to be using 10 times less makeup. And so with the blush, um, it is super high pigmented. And so you only need like two drops. Um, and then I always like to apply my blush first and then I can use the foundation to blend. Now I'm gonna get out eraser and X out. I'm gonna have to shake these a lot because I have it. Hey, Jacqueline, Jacqueline, how are you? Let me shake both of them. You do want to make sure that you do shake these bad boys a lot, if, especially if you haven't used them in a while, because you want to make sure that you get that pigment moving and get it all um, mixed in there so you're utilizing the highest um, dispersed, where the pigment's dispersed evenly throughout the bottle. So this is eraser, and this only comes in one color. Now eraser is going to be to help erase like redness, um, some imperfections, um, wrinkles and crink things like that. And then X out was mainly designed for Xing out dark circles. But I always recommend like, uh, just don't switch. Like there's no reason to use eraser and then X out. Pick which one is most important to you. So like my, my darkness on my lids and underneath my eyes is what I like to cover up more. And so I'm gonna go with X out, but I'll use it everywhere. I'll use it on my redness, um, these sunspots, that kind of thing. Um, don't switch back and forth. Um, all right, so I'm now going to shake this up. Yay! Love how y'all are making everybody feel so welcome. All right, so now I'm going in and I put my drops right in here. I turned on my system. So there's air that comes out, right? So wherever that air is, is where the makeup's going to go. And you're going to pull back super light on the trigger. Now, when I go in, I like to call this my pre-coverage. When I go in and do my pre-coverage, I don't have to cover it 100%. I still have the foundation to put on. And so I can go in super light. Your, everything you do with airbrush is super light. All right? So I go in and I start making my movements first and then pull back on the trigger. And I'm using the medium... X out. Let's 
So I'm hitting those spots. You can start seeing them starting to di dissipate, disappear. More on this side. I'm going to go on my lids. I mean, look what a difference that little bit makes. Okay. And keep going. And I'm just going to go in and do a little more coverage. Now, this isn't to the coverage that I want, but I know I'm going to get that with the other products that I'm putting on. And you can tell how precise the stylus is uh, because of the fact like my eyebrows are done, but I don't have to worry about um, it getting on my eyebrows because it is so precise. All right. So that is all of the X out that I'm going to use. So as far as coverage goes, eraser would be the lighter in coverage then the next step would be X out. So if you need a little more coverage than this, then you're gonna go with X out. And X out comes in light, medium, and dark. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna grab, I think I'm gonna go Tulip. I'm gonna grab Tulip Blush and shake it up. And I'm going to put my drops in here. I'll do two drops of the tulip. Now, to everyone's surprise, I'm not mixing them, but we can mix um, all airbrush products together. So, again, if you're first starting out and you can't quite get the blush down, you can even mix a drop of your foundation in here. You can mix a drop of love in there. You know, that's what I'll do. I'll mix a drop of love in with my blush. Sissy loves the blush. Yay. All right. Shake this up. And use a drop of love. And then I'm going to blend those together. All right. So now I'm going to go in and do the blush. And I do go back and forth to each cheek. So I don't just stick to this one and then I go back and forth, back and forth until I, I actually am looking to get it to where I almost like it, like where it's almost there because it does bloom afterwards. So the fact that I'm doing this first, I have a little, uh, before my foundation, I have a little more, um, wiggle room there because the fact that if it gets a little bright, it's okay because I'll be able to um, um, blend it off with foundation or blend it with the foundation. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go in here. All right, so blush is on. And now I'm gonna go in and I'm using the Silk 4-in-1. Yeah, it really, Sissy, because of the fact you can mix everything together that's in airbrush form, it really opens up the possibilities of what you can do. Um, and so that I, that's what I love about it. Now, when I go in and start airbrushing, I go in and I make one complete pass. So I'm keeping it four finger widths away. I'm going to keep moving, barely pulling back on my trigger, go down my neck, no demarcation lines. Oh, Jacqueline Lux. Um, Jacqueline, you use the X out? The X out is really good. All right. Is that all? No, that's starting a little bit more. But you can already tell how blended the uh, blush is. 
And then if I needed to go in and blend any more, I could do that. I thought I had a demarcation line, but something got on me. Let me cover that up a little bit. Make sure my nose. There we go. All right. So foundation, blush, the X out, all of that is done. And then at this point, you can finish off with some eyes, whether you want um, airbrush or traditional, whatever the case may be. Now, because I went in there and already did some um, X out and some foundation on my eyes, I can utilize, I can use that color on my eyes and use it as my, um, my light shade. And so I can go back. Uh, I'm going to use the nude and naughty palette. I'm going to use this one right here. And go in here. And in a, with a medium shade. Ooh, you know what? There's this, that blue that's in there. I'm going to use the blue because it's in my shirt. I normally don't match my eyeshadow to my shirt, but I'm going to today. So just using that blue, I'm going to do that super light in my crease. So I'm using just the foundation or the coverage that I have on my eyes as um, as a as a base for my eyes. So I don't have to go in there and put more eyeshadow on if I'm in a hurry or like I'm big into like I want to do my makeup in less time but look amazing. So I don't need to put on 64 shades of eyeshadow if I don't have time. Like, I honestly, does anybody have time for that? <laughs> we really don't. Uh, Sissy, yes, there is airbrush eyeshadow for sure. And we can, um, we can do that later today if you would like, if you want to come back. Remember, we are here all day long. <laughs> So I can do, I'll do the airbrush eyeshadow in the, um, let's do it at the two. But I'll do it at the two. So Sissy, if you can come back at two or just watch, watch the two, uh, you can watch it later. I'll do the airbrush eyeshadow, but y'all have to remind me too. All right. So I'm just blending and blending. And I'm working with, again, the foundation that's already on my eyes. So you can add some um, mascara, an eyeliner, and keep going. Um, and so, again, making it as easy as possible. It doesn't have to be this big ordeal, but you could actually just finish the with mascara and you're good to go. So that's always a plan as well. Um, oh, good. Jacqueline is improving with her application. It does take some pra practice. I mean, we're very upfront about that. So I don't want people to get frustrated and think, oh, I can't do it on the very first try. Girl, I mean, can you count on one hand how many times you're an expert in anything the first time you did it? Not. So you definitely are going to take some practice and that's what we're here for. I mean, come on, if you have any problems, then you're just going to come back and talk to us and then we're going to explain it and you'll understand it. But the more you learn or the more you practice, the more you're going to learn. Even if you mess up, guess what? In this case, we will learn from our mistakes. And so it, it does get a lot easier. Um, I'm going to put some lip jelly. Let's see. Oh, good, sissy. We're glad you found us. Deborah, you are so sweet. I have to say, I do feel better with a tan. I've been doing the tanning tonic, and I do feel better with no makeup on and the tan. 
definitely. So, all right, guys, there you go. Let me put all my stuff up. Um, but yeah, if there's anything you guys want to see, jump in and let us know. Um, I mean, we are here for you guys. So we want to do things that you want to see, just like Sissy joined us today. And, you know, she's like, y'all have airbrush eyeshadow? We're going to do that. We're going to make sure that you see how how it's done. If I mean, if you have a question about anything, whether it's color cosmetics, it doesn't have to be airbrush. If you're like, okay, how in the world do I put on lashes? Or how in the world do I contour with the cut one palette? Whatever the case may be, we are here for you and we want we want to help you. I'm not doing this for my benefit. Although I do get a lot of benefits on this because it's so much fun talking to you guys and having our little family here. So, um, I mean, to be honest, I would be doing, I mean, I airbrush every single day. So I'd be doing this, doing this or not doing, if I wasn't doing on the live, I would still be doing airbrush. And so, but at least this, maybe not five times, but at least we're learning and we're experiencing and I have been doing this a while for a moment. And so hopefully, you know, my knowledge or other people's knowledge can, and Renee's knowledge can, we can all help each other out. All right. All right, guys. Um, yay. Sissy has already learned. She's like, it used to take her two hours to put on regular makeup. Now she can be done in 20 minutes. And that is the perf. That's exact. I mean, it's so funny because if you talk to anybody who's maybe heard about um, Luminous and airbrushing, they all think that it's, oh, I'll do it. You know, oh, I'll do it when I have more time or I'll do it when I have a special occasion. If I'm walking my dog, I'm airbrushed. Like it doesn't matter what it is. Once you get it down, it's so much easier. I don't have to switch brushes. I'm just like, boop, 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 boop. Now, if I don't talk during this whole time, it's a lot quicker. <laughs> I mean, and that's exactly right. It is, you get so fast because you don't have to, you're not thinking about how to airbrush because that becomes second nature. All you have to think about is what product, what drops you're going to put in there. And it's so, so fast. So there you go. All right, guys, I will see you back here at 12, <laughs> at 12.00. We will be back. All right. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. So good to be with you on this Thursday, but we'll be back. All right. Bye for now.